guy who invented autocorrect has died. His funfair is on sundial at moon. Welcome to the Shaven Butcher YouTube channel. I wanted to show you my travel strop. This is it. The Thiers Isar. Pretty big three inch strop, paddle strop. So it has a bit of, a bit of flex. Two sides, both are suede, sort of. The side is um, pretty smooth. Black one, this is a little bit more, more coarse. Beautiful, great. It's big to pack, but it's easy to pack and it's way easier than a, a hanging strop for sure. And I, I like them large so I can uh, maneuver me big straights as I want to. So that's what I'm, I'm doing when I travel with a straight. Pretty sure today was a Trinidad cigar and Hendrix gin. Straight up. Cheers. We're shaving today. <coughs> gin. Straight up. We're shaving today as well. The brush will be dead slash with a stash this is slash he's dead and, and he's got a stash beautiful googlerart.com Googler art. the soap is going to be a soap i've used for about a week and um, i haven't shaved with on camera before taylor of old bond street platinum collection Oh, pretty nice. It's a glycerin, glycerin soap, very hard, quadruple milled. It um, comes in this box, which I think is wood. Well, you have to pay extra for it. You can, you can buy just the pack as well, which is fairly small. I don't know what it weighs, but it's fairly small. But it's quadruple milled, so probably it will last for a, a few years anyway. So nice. I don't bloom it, maybe I should, but I don't. It smells terrific. Scent notes are, I, I checked them and I forgot most of them. Um, the ones I recognized, I didn't like. Sandalwood, musk, bergamot. Well, I, I like bergamot because I like bergamot in my chewing tobacco. The rest of the scent notes, I didn't even understand the words in English. So very sophisticated, complicated, but it, it's nice. And um, I've, I've been to the shop uh, on, well, off German street, I can't remember the street name. And, um, uh, or was it German street? I can't remember. Anyway, super posh, you get intimidated as you walk in, especially if you're wearing a baseball cap, which of course I wasn't at the time. I was wearing a newspaper boy's cap, which signals poor or North England. So yeah, you would feel off, wouldn't you? Walking into a posh store like that. But it's, as I shave with it, part of the experience is having been to the, to the store. And I just, it's dramatically sophisticated. So we're doing that today. Razor, and sorry for the lack of new racers but i'm traveling and i only packed three this is again the philharmonica 13 stainless steel very hollow beautiful little thing i think okay so let's try and get lathered up get some water on the face some water on the brush. No, no. Shut up, dead slash. You're getting wet. I want to. Well, you have a shaving brush now. You shut up. Cool. I more or less managed to get it to stick to the bottom. I can't remember how I did that. Brush is rather small, so and it's synthetic, so it doesn't 
catch and hold an awful amount of leather. Um, so I may be giving back to the pack. Just saying, just warning you. The leather, as you work it out, is very fluffy, frothy, I say. I don't know if I made up that word, but it has a lot of, you know, it's very light, as opposed to a lot of soft artisan soaps, where you get a dental paste kind of texture from the get-go. Let's see if that's enough. It's not super easy to lather. But that's part of the sophistication, I think. You have to work for it. Poor excuse. <laughs> really, why not make it easy? I obviously haven't worked it down to the bottom of the box, but I can imagine it lasts quite a long time. And of course, that's one of the benefits. Now, if you shop in Mayfair or Piccadilly or whatever it's called, routinely, you wouldn't worry too much about what anything costs. Let's try that to start out. This is a Miami Marlins cap, by the way. They're playing now, but they're down four nothing. The ninth, and I'm a poor fan, and I left them. But their offense is just horrifically poor today. shaved with it yesterday. I've been shaving every day for over a week. I shaved with it yesterday and it was too dry and it was not comfortable. I'm not a leather master of any sort but I find it rather not so forgiving. So today going wet rather than pretty. So I have a ton at the back. It looks nice. But is it, is it any good? I think maybe it's okay. But I won't be shy to add more water as I shave if I feel I need to. Went to Key West yesterday. We started driving from Miami. Just wanted to go see something. Started driving west. Oh, by the way, I I um, <laughs> I was going to get a fancy grip on the racer the other day, so first thing I do, of course, I put it deep into my cheek. So we'll see if terribly uncivilized to have a hat inside, isn't it? We'll see if I cut this open again. I hope not, because it was deep. 
think we're okay. Yeah, so we started driving and we said south, west or north. And we said, well, let's go, let's go south. Let's drive to like Key Largo. Which is kind of the first key of the Florida key. But then that was a bit boring and we drove through another 600 keys. A key is an island in Florida. Uh, and the Florida keys is about 6,000 of them. Um, they're all in a row, they're all super pretty. And eventually we said, ah, and we ended up in Key West. Traffic was okay, so yeah, it was good. We didn't stay long. We had a lobster roll at DJ DJ's Clam Shack. Fantastic, really good. Four of those and four soft drinks, a hundred dollars. <laughs> What's the economy in Key West? Well, tourism, maybe. Went for a walk, parked right outside. Hemingway's house didn't go in. That was a queue to see Hemingway's house. God. But it's nice, nice and pretty. And we drove off and had dinner. Dinner consisted of key lime pie and a double espresso on one of the other islands in a, in a courtyard with, uh, I did good with the lather today, with chicken and rabbits and birds and cat and stuff. It's kind of nice, really nice. So all in all, very good trip. The keys are beautiful. It's just all, all of them, 42. I'm exaggerating, there's only 42. It's a bit of a, oh, another beautiful island. Didn't we pass here? No, it just looks the same. But they are pretty. The roll was pretty fantastic, actually. It was worth the money. This is hard with the left hand. I'll get there in the end. Good. Oh, I have a palm olive stick on the way. Might actually be in my mailbox. I'll tell you who sent it when I use it in a video, which will be done within within short. So that was pretty good. Pretty good. Managed to get the ladder right, which is bloody hit and miss, especially if you don't concentrate thoroughly. But that was good. If it's too dry, it's horrible. Well, that goes for a lot of soaps. Yeah, feels good. Skin feels like I haven't shaved, but I did remove quite a few whiskers. So, let's see if there's any soap left. Do I dare beat it up? I will, because you should take it just a little bit. 
because I did add a little a bit of water on it, so I cleaned my face off. Not risking killing it. The scent is not strong, but it is sophisticated. Oh fuck. Sorry, got lather in my gin. Wonder if I can still drink that, I got most of it out. Let's try it. Gin, Hendrix, Hendrix is British with a bit of Taylor Old Bond Street. Oh yeah. And leather smelling better than ever. Haven't tried it, but I'm sure it beats the crap out of Sterling's gin and tonic. Cause it's, it's all Taylor Old Bond Street and Hendrix. Where's my cucumber? We're trying that. I have a question. Paso numero dos. Habla español, Miami español, sí. My question is, I feel there are more and more Chevette shapes on YouTube. And I wonder why. questions to Trevi B and he's responded enormously intelligently obviously and I've asked Lee and Naomi O'Shea's just now he hasn't answered but I'm interested in what and what you think What's the charm in it? I've never used a Chevette. Don't own one, never seen one. What's, what's the charm? Is it interesting? Would it be interesting for me as a straight razor shaver to try it out? Is there any advantage versus a straight razor? I don't know, it just seems, why? So please comment. Because I'm curious. I can think of a number of advantages, but I want I want to hear from you, if you don't mind. This is backhand left, sorry, still struggling a bit. So please leave a comment about Chevette, good or bad, any advantage to a straight? Watched two videos today with blood in them, really like that. Knife to the face, sorry, sorry Drew, but there was a bit of blood in your video and Graeme Hawcroft. 
he had a exaggerated French point that he had, hadn't muted. That's what testosterone does for you. It's just silly, stupid. But he did it. He cut himself. And there was blood. <clears throat> Would that have happened with the Chevette? Je ne sais pas. No sé. Ich weiß es nicht. Ja, wait a minute. I do not know. It's a little bit dry now. My fault. My fault, not the soap's fault at all. Smoked a cigar or two every day since I came to Miami. You're not addicted, are you? No. No. Just like it. It's just nice. Might try heroin next, but I'm, I'm not addicted. Okay, final bit. That is a bit dry. So we put some water. You know, when I grow up, shit, I'm gonna have a goatee. Backhand, parky hand is shit. Blood, look. Mm. So that's what I'm doing when I grow up. And when I grow up, I want to be Jeffrey Smith. I want to have his goatee. I want to be like him. Well, I want to be like... I'm sorry guys, you're not a lot older than I am, but a little bit. But a, a combo of Tim Shaw and Jeffrey Smith. They're both YouTubers you should follow, and just like you should follow Trevi B and Naomi Shaves, who is Leroy. thinking maybe I should do things differently in the videos. Feels like I'm doing the same thing. Which of course has worked for Paul H for about 25 years. But he strikes a chord with people, it's different. So, should I do something differently? I'm asking, honestly, like I have this rattlesnake around, or not a rattlesnake, because I wouldn't do that, but I have a python, a small one, around my neck when I shave, that'd be cool. Be hard to concentrate. Or should I review things, or what should I do? Did a good job today. I always rinse it, wipe it off with a towel. 
straight like this, trying not to damage the edge. Rinse again and do two swipes and then usually you get the soap off. And then strop, always strop something. I do nine strokes on the canvas or in this case the, the coarser le leather. So, rinse off, see what happened. I was going to be rather negative towards this soap, but this, it did a damn good job today. It did a good job. It's a, it's an average soap. Requires a bit of concentration when you build the lather, like most soaps, but a, more than a super easy artisan. Um, Average, really sophisticated scent. So I will continue to use it. Um, I'll wear it down so that I can order a new one. Preferably, my going to the shop because that was that was a cool shop. I'm sure it was. So really nice, really nice. Forgot the alum in the other room, so I would have done an alum, but I'm doing American aftershave, Pinot Clubman. Being used to Hega with no alcohol or Stetson with no alcohol. <laughs> this is pretty painful. Uh, tough Viking stuff. <coughs> I'll take some more. Uh, so I was asking in the last video if you need alcohol. No, you don't. It's bloody nice. Bloody nice. Thanks for watching. Take care. Go do something I wouldn't do. See you soon.